Hello, this is Keir from Zenforo. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we've implemented Sitemap XML into Zenforo 1.4. Sitemaps are an open format that describes a document that can list every resource that's contained on your website. The idea of the sitemap is that when a search engine hits your site, rather than having the search engine spider your pages and uh, follow all the links that it finds, rather it can simply look through your sitemap and uh, visit all the uh, resources that you've got listed there rather than having to find them which means that uh, it can do its job faster and potentially find more content than it would if it was just spidering. Uh, the protocol is defined on sitemaps.org on this page here um, but let's go and take a look at what Zenforo has done to implement it for you. If I head into the options system you'll notice a new XML sitemap generation option group and inside that are a bunch of new options. The first of them is to automatically build your sitemap. Under the normal run of things, you'd want your sitemap to be rebuilt every day. Um, but for reasons that are your own, you might decide that you don't want that to happen. So you could turn that off and go and build the sitemap manually whenever you want to. And it's done through tools and rebuild caches. So let's go and take a look at that. Here's the system here. And if I click that, then uh, blink and you'll miss built. The reason it's so quick on this particular installation is that uh, there's very little content on this particular installation but with a bigger installation that contained more content that would take longer and would be a bit more impressive. I'll head back to the options system now and you'll note that there's a little link here to uh, download the current sitemap and if I click on that it will download and I can take a look at the format of the document itself here. And here it is. And you can see that it's listed my home URL, a bunch of forums, a page, some threads, and some members. The content of the sitemap can be controlled by this option here. So if, for example, you wanted to remove all nodes, which would uh, include pages, categories, and forums, uh, you could simply remove that and then that wouldn't be included in the sitemap. Um, additionally, the sitemap system is completely pluggable. So if you have an add-on that defines a new content type and you want that, that content type to be included in the sitemap, all the add-on author has to do is um, insert a new entry into the database and create an appropriate class. And uh, just like we have here, you'll see that nodes have a sitemap handler class with a uh, Zen4 sitemap handler node which is the uh, handle class for nodes, um, which means that uh, the sitemap system is completely extensible to any new content types that come about. Going back to the sitemap here, um, I mentioned that this one is very, very small, um, but if you had a much bigger site, uh, you'd find that your sitemap was correspondingly much bigger. Um, Zenfora will automatically detect when your sitemap reaches a particular size, um, which uh, goes beyond the uh, spec that's allowed, uh, at which point it will split your sitemap into multiple files if necessary. Um, in addition, uh, to save on bandwidth, your sitemap is automatically compressed. Now, you didn't see that when I downloaded that in uh, Safari here because it automatically handles zip compression. Uh, but if I were to uh, run the same thing here in Firefox, which doesn't do that same automatic handling, It is indeed zipped. Sorry about the speed here, my computer seems to be dying. So let's go back into here. Uh, there's an interesting option here called automatically submit sitemap to search engines. Um, normally, you would list your sitemap or the existence thereof in your robots.txt file in the root of your site um, and then hope that search engines would find it when uh, it, the robots text file is next scanned. But a superior way to do it is to actually actively tell the search engines that you have a sitemap, uh, where to find it and what format it is. Uh, so Zenfora will do that for you. It will actually uh, go and inform Google and a bunch of other search engines that uh, your sitemap exists um, as soon as it's built, which just saves you a step and is really nice and convenient. Finally, if I take into, uh, into the log system, you'll notice that we have a sitemap log. So if you're worried that your sitemap wasn't being uh, built or you wanted to just see the progress of it, you can see that you have a complete log of all the sitemap runs. Most of these are me 
running this video over and over and over again. Um, and you'll see that uh, it gives you a basic rundown of how your sitemap was built, how many files it contained, and whether it was compressed or not.